still obviously be a little different, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's insane, hey? Only player like male or female to do that. Um, so it might be a little tough for us to hear each other, but we'll just try our best, I guess, eh? Yeah. Not much more we can do besides that. We can mainly be like that, so the step by step, there's a break or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. No, well, that's perfect. I only caught you an example of the Oiler games. But Jack Michaels does like, pretty much yeah. the same thing. Yeah, and then we just have to, yeah. at Wisp, it's a good time to have, or, like you said, like, Jump in just afterwards.
Hello and welcome hockey fans to the Imperial Oil Place Arena for game number five of the 2022 Alberta Provincial Championships for the U18 Female B Division. I'm Evan Kenny, I'll have your call tonight, and alongside me is Carter Simpson. Carter, you know, either of these two teams played earlier today uh, with the Lakeland Jags winning six to nothing. I guess just starting things off, how excited are you to see this matchup? Oh, pretty good. I just got off my uh, day job earlier, and now let's uh, broadcast some hockey now between the Duke Roughnecks and the Lakeland Jaguars. They were supposed to host Provincials a couple years ago, but got canceled. Here we are, two years later, and things are getting back to normal. The Jags won their first game six to nothing. An unbelievable performance, especially in goal by Ava Pinch. Meanwhile, Leduc tied their first game 2-2 against Beaver Lodge. About 30 seconds into the first period here now. And the Jaguars having a regroup in their own end. Corey sends it up for Rossichuk. She's streaking down the left side, fires one just high and wide of the net. Jaguars able to keep possession in the offensive zone, but Leduc doing a good job of collapsing, not allowing any of these pucks to get to the middle. Rimmed around now by Shuckin. The Jags quickly on that to break it up. Shot on net with deflection in front, lots of traffic. The shot coming off the stick of Krawchuk. As the Jags, another scoring opportunity as Loden in front. Krawcheck can't quite hold this puck and she'll have to regroup and some good pressure to start off this game. Oh yeah, definitely some good pressure over the Jags as this is what they want to do. As they won 6-0 in their opening game as they're trying to show to the Duke Roughnecks. And they'll definitely have the advantage crowd behind them tonight. For sure, obviously, you know, being the host team, I mentioned this earlier in the day, but you know, they have about a, a four minute drive from their house to the rink rather than you know Leduc about a four hour drive yeah. uh, to get Cold Lake so a little different there for sure. Jags apply more pressure here's Desjardins fires one on net that's steered aside by Higdon. Foose now with it behind her own net she gets that poked off her stick and is back on the stick of Berard. Her centering pass can't find a home as Leduc will send this the length of the ice. I don't think Leduc has any, had any possession in the Jags territory. It's the Jaguars team looking pretty solid here. With the exception of maybe a neutral zone regroup, I definitely think uh, you're right there, Carter. It's, it's, it's the forecheck, I think, of the Jags really creating their opportunities. They're really doing a good job on the forecheck. As their engine lines up, we'll see what this line will do here. Hall with the clean face-off win as the shot goes just wide of the net. Hall picks it up once again, circling around, trying to find an option. She draws three pairs to her, opening up Ross Chuck down low. Jags try to fire one short side. However, it's Higdon able to close the door there. Battle now along the far side wall. As player goes down, they will blow the whistle here. 17:01 remaining in the first period. Yeah, the Jaguars Close the door there. to keep that pressure on as the battle now. Roughnecks just cannot seem to get out of their zone at all. And look, the player is okay. And looks like we'll have a face-off inside the Roughnecks territory. Yeah, it will come on the far side dot to the glove hand side of Higdon. And like you said, good to see that Leduc player being okay. Yeah. No one's getting injured. Not at all, especially plenty of hockey to play here this weekend as Corey fires a bouncer on net. That's smothered by Higdon at all, especially whistle. plenty of hockey yeah. to play. As in the other rink, we do have uh, Beaver Lodge playing in the other rink. That drove the Duke clear as they're playing Fairview. As that game will be on Dolony TV. Go to that uh, channel if you want to go watch that one or stay with us for of, this game. Of course, all the games on that second ice surface will be on Dolony TV. And meanwhile, if you are here right now, you know Cold Lake Ice TV is your place to watch all games here on the Imperial Oil Place Arena ice surfaces. 
Oh, there's a first scoring chance there for the Little Duke Roughnecks. What an easy save there. Eggs having to tighten up a little bit for the first try, first try this, uh, you know, in this first period. First time really being tested. Yeah. Face off one by the Jags as this gets rimmed up the far side wall. Centering pass gets broken up. However, support coming in the form of Nuttle. She drives wide on the left side. Centering pass cannot be buried. Twine is there. They just can't find a way to put it home as the puck is still loose. Leduc, it's one big block. However, can't clear the zone immediately. Jags able to poke that puck free once again as the battle ensues on the near side wall. Loden able to knock that one free and get it down into the corner. Now a shot going just wide of the net. Krawchuk has to get over and hold that puck in the offensive zone. So we're about four minutes through this period here. The Duke will make their way out. I believe that's Volsky trying to get the puck out. It was the Jags stepping up. They'll send it back in as four Jags players go off for a change here now. In her own zone, Merge able to move that puck forward for the chance. She drives wide and Ooh. takes a hard hit into the boards. Meanwhile, going back the other way, I believe it's Berard and Donovan on two on one coming. And Higdon does a good job of standing her ground and challenging at the edge of that blue paint. Good shot there. Always take a shot to when you're available. As Wayne Grexley said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Never a bad idea to throw putt on net. And, you know, like we saw in that scenario, there was a player driving that net hard. So even less of a bad idea there. Yeah. Puck just held in on the line as the Jags fire one back in. No, Ross Chuck kind of power way to middle. She will knock the puck free, and we will have another whistle. What a battle there by Rosie Chuck as she managed to force the puck on net. Has good game so far, as uh, most of the majority of the chances of the Jaguars, as they are definitely looking to book a spot in the Sunday semifinal. Definitely will be. Both semifinal games will be taking part Sunday morning, roughly at nine o'clock. One of them will be at nine o'clock. Uh, and one of them will be at 9.15. The winners of those two games playing at three on Sunday for the gold medal game as Rostchuk fires one back to the point. Shot gets deflected, almost finds a body just off to the right side. Instead, it finds the glove out. Alexis Higg will have another whistle. Yeah, majority of these players come out of Cold Lake, St. Paul, and Bonneville as this is like Lakeland area, so all the the best female players in this area are competing in this tournament on the Jaguars. Man, are they ever beating Carter? I mean, a 6 nothing game to start off the tournament, that's yeah. really picture that's really perfect. Good. Yeah, really good game. Puck they looked at the scores earlier, and yeah, they played a pretty good game. Puck deflected out of the Leduc zone where Jags have to go and reset, try to make something happen. A nifty little move there by Goofers. However, the puck slides out into the neutral zone. Goofers with it once again. She makes one move at her own blue line before cutting to the middle. Still with the puck. Two players on her just could not find that open man. As now we will have an offside call. 13.57 remaining in the first period. That's yeah, face off coming outside of the Jaguar territory. Pretty good hot so far. Coleman kicks that face off forward. She'll apply pressure on the four check. Corey doing a nice job of re reversing with her feet. Gets away from that check. However, the Duke able to hold pressure in the zone. Pass up the wall now. Collected by Thorne. Unable to clear the zone, however, the Jags keep possession. Corey circles behind her own net. She'll flip that one forward as Loden was waiting. Now a two-on-one developing as Nuttle driving the net, oh. just running out of time. She tried to feed one in front. Nobody waiting on that back door. 
McNuttle with it once again. She sends it down low for Thorne. Thorne tries to walk out of the corner there, has her shot blocked and heading the other way, it's LaDuke. Coleman leading the rush. She has that one knocked off her stick. She'll pick it back up on the back check, sending it down deep for Wood. Wood applying pressure onto Dole, however, a nice headman pass. Gets the breakout started for the Jack. Dangerous one there. As Donovan taking things in. Two on five right now, just trying to throw whatever they can at the net. As oh, loose still and it's back. in! Donovan able to find the loose lock and throw her home for the for a one goal lead for the Jags. Oh, I think the goalie tried to put her glove on it, but she but to the rebound came right there. So it looks like it's Holly Murray getting the goal for the Jaguars. Yeah, I'm not totally sure what the number is, or possibly Faith Donovan on that one. Yeah, mistake there by the goaltenders. The Jaguars have the one nothing lead. And the fans with those Go Jaguar signs over there. Yeah, the fans, it always helps to get the fans into it. Really best yeah. way doing that, score a big goal is Rossichuk right off the ensuing faceoff. Just about goes heel toe bar down. Unfortunately for her, Higdon able to close that door. into it early. What a speed. She's had a good first play already. Rossichuk had a few good score chances. So, Faith Donovan getting the goal. Correction on that. And with the assist going to number 17, Juliana Bateman. Puck back in the Jags zone. However, they have possession. Looking to make their way out as Hall leads this rush. She dishes it off to Ross Chuck. Who will just dump this puck in deep. Boos rims it around the wall where two players are waiting and collide. Gets wrapped around into the far corner is Ross Chuck walking around this circle. She draws two players towards her before dishing this one off. Nobody there to receive that pass. Desjardins able to hold the line and then a clearing attempt goes off the body of Hall. It's picked up now by Volsky and trickles its way on net just about halfway through this first Trickle. period. We'll have a face off coming this time in the Jag zone. Yeah, that was a good Live. scoring, that was a scoring opportunity there for the uh, Leduc Roughnecks. By the Roughnecks, are, have turned the puck over a few times in their own territory as they'll have to like go in the intermission and make sure they fix things. Still lots of time left in this game. Yeah, head coach Chris Laporte definitely will be having something to say to his team as a good scoring opportunity there. Isabella Corey taking it the length of the ice, just can't quite get it to fall through the twine. I don't know what the shots are. I don't have a shot clock here, but it's pretty, lots more shots there for the Jaguars for sure in this first period. I think Leduc had like two or three attempts on goal. As the Jag win this face off here, they try to work down low centering pass gets knocked away and picked off by Lachance. She gains the red line and dumps it in. Centering pass gets picked off and then a nice little move there by Nuttall. She tries to split the D. Her body does, however, can't bring the puck with her on the back check, able to steal it right back. Now, Heading up the other way. Leduc has the their pocket pick. Back and forth action here. As Thorne trying to work out of the corner. Off her backhand. Pucks loose in front. Scramble in the blue paint. And Higdon able to hold strong and keep this one out of her net. Couple of good cracks out there for the Jaguars. The goaltender playing really good for Leduc right now. She is right now holding her team in this game. Yeah, definitely uh, make some critical stops right now. And, you know, Carter, it's never a, a game plan of any team to, you know, go down by one, let alone a couple. And right now, Higdon is doing a fantastic job of keeping her team down by just the one goal. Yeah. Donovan walking out of the corner looking for a sharp angle backhand shot. That's blocker to side. And picked up by Coleman. 
She gets stood up by Dole in the neutral zone. For Murdoch. Gets it. Battle right in front of the Jags bench. Gets sent down below the Jags goal line. Dole has to set up behind her own net now. Rimming it around for Berard. Now a long centering pass through the middle. Donovan with quite a bit of speed coming down. A great defensive play there by Wood. Or excuse me, Goofers. She was just waiting for the for the Lakeland player to make a move. Now coming off the bench, Rossock firing one just ever so slightly over the net. She did not miss her target by much. It was an absolutely that stunning feed. That would a nice feed. goal. Stunning feed there by Hannah Hall. Yeah. Rossichuk tries to move to the middle. That's broken up. And Leduc will try to make something happen in the neutral zone. Now breaking three. Volsky coming down on the right side. She'll delay and wait for support as she sends it back to her D. That gets poked out of the way. And now sent almost the length of the ice where the Jags will have to regroup in their own end. Rossichuk with it once again. She's got a player. And Metroways driving the net. She elects instead to go back to the D. D to D and a shot coming on net. Looking for a deflection. And that took a, a very weird bounce off the inside of the blocker of Higden. I couldn't see it, but yeah, that took a weird hop. Might have been deflected. Definitely took a bounce off something. What that is, I don't quite know. But definitely took a bounce off something as we're just past the... Uh, eight minutes remaining in this period. Thorne trying to work again off the wall. Puck pops out for he takes a hard shot. She came in top shelf with that one. Did not miss by much. Now loose puck in front, gets cleared back out to the point. Krawchuk puts it on net, loose puck momentarily. Very similar to how the Jags scored their yeah. first goal. I almost had little flashbacks there. Yeah. Definitely, but she was able to get onto that rebound this time. Yeah, crazy things have happened to hockey. I've seen weird goals in the NHL too where the puck takes bad bounces off the boards. Yeah, sometimes, hey, you don't know what those two inch of rubber are going to do, or rather what they won't do at sometimes, as this puck's rimmed around behind the net of Leduc. Battle along the near side boards, about six players in total. Walking out with it is Nuttall, still loose. I do not know how that did not cross that goal line there. I think that hit the post. It hit the post, as always. The post coming to save the day and bail out Alexis Higdon on that opportunity. She got her stick back. She lost her goal stick as well. Huh? Another opportunity for Nuttall in front, and Higdon once again closes the door. This time she's able to hold on to it and get a whistle for her team. Oh, well, Duke better be thanking their goaltender at the intermission as she is keeping her team in this game. Yeah. She made some incredible ops. Definitely. She better be getting a, a couple pad taps to say the least. Yeah. As the Jags win face off once again. Able to fish the puck out of the skates and just firing it wide. Battle on the near side boards. Three roughnecks all in there. As the puck now squeaks loose. Coming out here now. Wood takes it through the neutral zone. She'll dish it off for Lachance, who's able to just get it in the offensive zone. Pressure won't last too long as the Jags trying to make something happen. They lose the puck through the neutral zone. As there's a mad scramble now to the left side of the rink. Goofers makes her way out. However, uh, she has her pocket pick coming the other way now as Donovan, Faith Donovan, firing this one in. But she'll go off for a change. Four Jags, in fact, go off for a change. The one four checker being Hall. Coleman. Burning wide, taking this in on her backhand. She takes a healthy whack before taking a tumble. Puck still loose, and it gets whacked out to the slot area. Nobody home to fire at home. However, Leduc still with pressure. Puck loose right in front of the goal, and, and they're they able to bang it home. I Seriously. believe that's 
Aspen Murdoch able to walk home the rebound. Good pressure there by the Duke. That's why you go to the net, right place, right time. As she is able to put that rebound in. Now the Duke fans making some noise. Excuse me, that's actually Sydney Coleman. Sydney Coleman. Still with pressure, puck loose right in front of the goal. One apiece. On the replay, the shot goes off the pad and she, and Coleman able to put the rebound in. And that's why they're, sometimes your goaltender can bail you out as well. Game says, Roughnecks are now back on even again. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. And I think it's Jesse sure now going off. Correction. Emily Leopard going off for tripping. So the Jags are getting their first power play. First power play of the game is we're back. Oh, not up here. Five minutes to play in this first period. We actually have a correction as well on that first goal coming from Leduc. It was Michelle Jenkinson able to bury it home. Coleman and got an assist. And right as we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, this game being knotted up and maybe some power play opportunities here, the Jags go and take a penalty here. Nine seconds into the power play. Um, Who is going off here for the Jaguars? Uh, well, here on the, on the PA. We'll hear on the PA off two minutes for interference. Like you said, just a short nine second power play. Not too much you can do in just nine seconds. Well, we'll see what four on four is going to be like. We'll see plenty of space uh, for both these teams to skate if they like to take that opportunity. Three on three hockey is definitely fun to watch too. Lots of room. The less players, the, the more skating. Yeah. The more excellent skaters can shine as Corey fires this one down the ice. It takes a deflection. Won't be an icing call as Corey now holding the line. A deflection in front just barely misses. So Hannah Thorne getting two minutes for interference on the play. That penalty down by about 40 seconds thus far is the first one right around that one minute mark. Here, Jags with the puck in their own zone. As Donovan fires one across the rink. That'll be held now by Goofers trying to wind things up through her own zone. As Donovan picks off a pass through the neutral zone. She burns one player and continues on through her backhand. Leduc trying to break out now through the middle. That puck goes off the stick of Murdoch as Dole finds it once again through the neutral zone. Two on one developing it here for the Jags. They hold up and give it back to the point. Oh. Dole has her pocket picked and heading the other way. It's Henderson. She's on a breakaway. Only one to beat is the goalie. And on a second opportunity, she has the door closed. Puck still loose behind the net as chaos ensues. As we are now five on four for Leduc as that puck kicks off the left pad. Hannah Henderson with a couple of good opportunities there on the breakaway. Oh, here and, we go, Hannah Reed. Heading back the other way, Thorne out of the box. She fires one on net. Higdon able to stop that back and forth action. Both goalies standing on their heads. Hannah Thorne, good chance at that one in there. Back Look the at the on that person. Just like able to hustle and get there. And a couple of opportunities for McKenna Henderson as well on that breakaway. That was actually Thorne for the Jags coming out of the box. Yeah, had uh, a Thorne. that one up. Nice Fa job for not giving up on the play there. Face off won by the Jags. Sharp angle shot fired on net. That's easily turned aside. There's the puck now working its way up this left close side. It's able to it out. Now shot into the shin pads of Madison Wood. Leduc able to hold on to some zone possession here now. Coleman sends it back to the point. Picked up now by Wood. She fires one on net. And a nice stop there by Quinney. 
the bobble a little bit, but she was able to get it. As now the Roughnecks are starting to get some uh, zone time now. Yeah, definitely building momentum as this game uh, continues on. In a just after that first goal seemed to build the momentum. As you heard of hockey, sometimes one goal can just shift. Exactly. It's a game of momentum shifts, or you know yeah. what everybody likes to say, the TSN turning point. Yeah. Or for today's game, it might be the Cold Lake ITV turning point. <laughs> yeah. Puck held in the zone as Nuttall walks around the top of the circles. She'll lose that one to Lachance, who fires a pass up through the middle. Coleman applying pressure on Corey. That pass errant through the middle. And now Name able to gain the zone. She has it poked off her stick as both teams making a change right now. Guler loses that one through the neutral zone. As both teams going back and forth, picking one and each other off. Guler has it entering the offensive zone. A nice move to the outside there. However, Name gets her stick in the way. Name once again poking this puck forward. And hang the other way is Bateman. She drives wide one on one against Tatum Jordan. Jordan able to get that puck loose and Leduc going the other way. Puck lost in the neutral zone as we enter the final minute of play for this first period. Dole stepping up from the point. Her shot gets deflected right in front of the net. Puck still loose. Higdon took a second for her to find that puck and eventually cover it up. Looks like she got with her stick on the play. Good save there as she has held her team so far in this game and their team has responded. Yeah, her her team, it's one of those, you know, give and take. When a, when a player sees your goalie make some fantastic save, it makes you want to be better, right? Yeah. Oh, the good move there. Rossichuk, beautiful off the faceoff. Is now a deflection. The puck, I believe, went behind Higdon, but somehow did not cross that goal line. Just missed her stick on the play. Just ever so slightly as Rossichuk. She loves to walk around the tops of these circles. Cuts back and fires one off the backside of Shuckin. She's had some good opportunities tonight and she's got some good moves about Rosie Chuck. She does, nice hands in tight. Yeah. As final 10 seconds or rather final handful of seconds here end up no casualties to finish off that period. However, the period does finish one to one. Really a, a, a good period when it comes to the pace of play. Yeah. It definitely was. Jaguars had possession for like the first like half of the period and then all of a sudden like the Duke, the Duke Roughnecks finally, finally got some momentum going and Def got that tying goal. Definitely a back and forth period and I think it leaves us that much more excited to see what the next 40 minutes of this game has to offer. We'll have that for you coming up following this intermission.
All right, folks, we're ready for the second period here as I am riding solo now for broadcasting. Car Simpson, if you don't know me, I, would, I do play by play for the Cold Lake Ice on Cold Lake Ice TV. Testing, 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 testing. Good. Yeah. All right, folks, uh, we'll do this again. Uh, I'm Car Simpson riding solo here for play by play now. As Evan had to lead and head back to Lloyd. And thanks so much for doing the cast with him for a period. As we are tied 1-1 right now between the Jaguars and the Leduc Roughnecks. Jaguars won 6-0 in their opening game against Fairview. And uh, Leduc tied their first game 2-2. As we are tied at one after one period of play. As Faith Donovan got first goal, the Jaguars. And then Sidney Coleman replying for the Leduc Roughnecks. And that's where we're sitting right now, 1-1. One, one. And not sure what's going on here. Looks like some uh, issue here in the uh, neutral zone. As uh, it looks like we still got some wet spots on the ice as the linesman will tear that. As uh, just waiting a couple minutes for the ice to freeze over here. Also, don't forget to, if you want to see the game between the between Fairview and Beaver Lodge. Go to Dolony TV on YouTube, and you can go to that broadcast if you want to stay with us on between the Roughnecks and the Jaguars. Stay here on Cold Lake Ice TV. As uh, as uh, for all of you who don't know, I am Car Simpson. I do play by play for the Cold Lake Junior B Ice this season. As the Junior B season is over for the Ice, and so now we're doing the under 18 Junior or Midget B Provincials. And we are waiting a few minutes for the ice to freeze over. As we don't want sticky ice. We don't want the puck sticking to the ice. And the Lions are going to go check it. One more time. Lots of good Jaguar fans in the, in the stands tonight. Lots of good signs made for tonight's game. Cheering hard for their team. So both teams are lining up here at center ice. So it will be Natal in the face-off circle against Coleman. And the Jags win the face-off. As they'll carry in the zone now. Natal takes a shot. And love stop there by Higdon as she has been fantastic in the Leduc goal in that first period as she has held her team in this game. That's why it is a 1-1 game so far. Jags one right back to work. That's what you want to see. That's the pushback you want to see from the Jaguars. Natel now with the puck. She will go for a skate in behind the net. She'll play back there for Desirelles. And that was stopped there in front as the Jaguars will cycle around. Here is Panathor now hopped over her stick. Coleman could not get the puck and Natal now this is the puck there and the puck is dumped in there by Emma Guler. But Thor now with the puck. Hannah Thor now gets bumped off. Puck penalty coming up to the Roughnecks. And I think it's going to be interference, the call.
And the victim, it looks like it's going to be Sydney Coleman going off. So the Jaguars will have their second opportunity in the power play. And took a penalty just nine seconds into their last power play. And the Jaguars look to get to work here. Puck is back there by Rosie Chuck to the point there for Niam. Shot taken for the point and deflected and a good save there by Alexis Higdon. Shot taken there. And it just whistles wide. Here's Rosie Chuck now. And the puck is shot out of the zone there by the Roughnecks. As Barry Lane Rosichuk had some good opportunities in that first period as she's got some wheels. And she has the puck now. Rosichuk shoots it on net and that is steered, that is sticked away there. Puck will be held in. Here is Hall now. A pop, shot taken, loose puck in the crease. Where is it? And they still can't find it and what a save there by Higdon. How did that not go in that? What a save. That is oh my serious. goodness. Puck will be held in. Where is Lining it? up in the face-off circle. And Sierra Nuttell. And the puck is played back to the point. Shot taken there. And a save there by Higdon. And it looks like that was, uh, yep, Ella Dole letting the shot go for the point. As this power play is looking good there for the Jaguars, few opportunities on the power play. Not to show for it so far. Shot taken, Fox throwing towards the net there, and a good chance there by Loden, and good save there by Alexis Higdon. Again, more good cycle movement there by the Jaguars. That's what you want to see. Here's Dole now. Wow. And that goes over top of the net. So the faceoff is coming outside the Leduc territories. That went straight up into play. Faceoff one there here. And here is Ella Dole now. We'll Ship it up ahead there for Loden, and the play is carried in offside the blue line. So we'll do this face off over again. Like we saw in the first period, the Jaguars controlling more of the momentum into the second period. That's what you want to see. After that first goal, the Jaguars want to push back and go for a second goal. Here is Hannah Thorne. Here's Nettel now, and, and a penalty coming up. As she has drawn a penalty, hooking the call, and it's going against the Roughnecks. It's a five on three for eight seconds. And it will be C. Shuckin going off for the Roughnecks. The Jaguars had some good opportunities. They just ran to a hot goaltender, but they have carried a lot, the most of the shots and the momentum tonight. Dejelin down, fires it wide. Loose back, and that was blocked! And here, and one player out of the box, and we are five on four now for the next minute and 40 seconds. As Cindy Coleman steps out of the box. Shot taken there by Hallie, or make that Emma Goop, Guler, and she just missed that one wide. So she can off for hooking, and the Jaguars again will have an opportunity here on the power play. But the so the puck fired out there. Picking up there is Corey. Corey will go up ahead there for Rosie Chuck. Shot taken there, and that was blocked. Here is Corey now. 
Tries to throw his net. That was like a shot out of the zone there by Pasamito. And the Jaguars will have to reset here on this power play. Here's Rosie Chuck now. Rosie Chuck drops it back. Shot taken there by Corey. Didn't make it through. Another chance there by Rosie Chuck, and she just missed the net. Puck is thrown towards the net. Puck held in there. Shot taken there by Niam. That was just deflected wide there by Abby Machuas. Back there to get it is Emma Nia. And this was shot on net, touched the stick on the way through, no icing on the play. And here come the Jags now, looking for more. Backhand attempt there by Sierra Tell, and that will be held there by Higden. Look at those signs, folks. Those signs are awesome. Good job on those signs. Love the Go Jag sign with all the player names on them. Game on, nice sign. So the Jaguars back to work. As it is loaded now. We'll wire it around the boards. Pelly over, we are back to five on five. Both teams, the battle for on the wall. The Roughnecks have possession. And the puck may come out there. As that was Aspen Murdoch able to get it out there for the for the Roughnecks. And that will come back on the icing. So the face-off is coming inside the Jaguars' territory. Face-off, one back, shot taken there. And the puck is shot wide as that was Leanna Golfers able to shoot that one wide. As that was Goofers, that, was, that just missed that. Jaguars now will dump it back in. Picking up there for the Roughnecks is Jules Foos. And the puck comes out. Jaguars are back in. As Goofers now tips, turns the puck over to Hannah Hall now. Hall shoots and she whistles that just past the glove side wide. Puck will be carried back in. Puck is thrown towards the net. There, it looks like uh, by number four, Hallie Ferrard, and that will be easily held there by Alexis Higdon. Seven minutes gone here in this second period of play. Still tied at one. Between the Jaguars and the Roughnecks. Both child for possession. Here come the Roughnecks as they will carry the puck in. Jaguars able to take care of it right away. Corey will shoot the puck back up center. Back in racing to get it there is Jesse Shuckin. Shuckin gives up ahead there for Aspen Murdoch. Chuck and Owl rifle around the boards. Jaguar now able to keep position in the inside Leduc territory. Corey now will go down low there for Hall. In front of that shot taken there by Rosenchuk. That stayed out. Another fat opportunity there. And man, chances everywhere for the Jaguars. And back come the Roughnecks. 
Led there by Aspen Murdoch. She takes a shot. And I'll be held there. And face off is coming inside Jaguar's territory. So the face off won there by the Jaguars. But the Roughnecks now trying to get possession. Jaguars still trying to get it out. That was held in there. Briefly there by the Roughnecks. Buck up ahead there for Hannah Thorne. Thorne now will carry it back in. Tries to throw that towards that. Nice stick there by Foos as she was able to break out the pass. Here come the Jaguars. Shot taken there. Loose puck in the crease. Where is it? And that will be covered up there by Alexis Higdon. Hannah Thorne with the first opportunity. Couple of cracks, and that somehow stayed out. Face off back inside Duke territory. Here's a shot taken there on the crossbar. Right. That was here in Natal. Man, that would have been a great shot. That would have been a great goal, but it catches Iron. Wow. So the faceoff is coming outside the Duke territory. Jaguars just want to keep pushing that. We keep the momentum. Eventually those pucks will go in, but here come the Roughnecks. Shot taking their loose puck. And that was shot wide there. As it looks like it was Foos now put the puck on net. Kira Quinney able to make the save as she is a net for the Jaguars. Not been tested lots. Shot taken there by the Roughnecks. That, was, that stayed out. Meanwhile, back come the Jaguars. Led there by number five, Donna Faith. Donovan shot off the post! How did that not go in? Or did I hit Faith the back bar? Oh, I could tell from here. I don't know if it hit the post or hit the back bar. Faith Donovan almost got her second goal of the game as she almost uh, wicked shot there. But here comes Rosie Chuck now. Rosie Chuck, what a move! And just had her stick lifted the last second. Here's Hannah Hall now. And the puck deflects off of Abby. Machu is skate and comes back out to center. Here is Rosie Chuck now. Could not quite get the puck as the puck was knocked away there. Jesse Shucken. And she will fire the puck around the boards. And that will be held in there by Emma Niam. Here is Hall now. Shoots to that. Hit the post again. That's three goal posts in a row by the Jaguars. And apparently coming up, hooking the call. And it's going against the Jaguars. And I think it's Hannah Hall getting the penalty. But yeah, the Jaguars looking very dangerous on a couple of scoring opportunities as this team looks deadly. Dominant performance in their first game, a 6-0 win earlier. And a goal there by the Roughnecks! Just four seconds into the power play, 6-0 win earlier. And it's Georgia Lachance with the wrist shot. Unbelievably, the Roughnecks have the lead! Folks, that's what you talk about, good goaltending, and sometimes 6-0 win earlier. It pays hey, off. Yeah. Yeah, earlier. The face and a goal there by the Roughnecks! Throw the puck to that. Anything happen. 
And Georgia Lachance has given her team the lead. So for the Jaguars, it's back to work. Don't let down. Keep, keep doing your scoring chances. So the Jaguars looking to get reset again. So Emma Buehler, they gave her the goal. So Sydney Coleman gets the assist. So it so looks like a credit to Emma Guler. As yes, it is Emma Guler. Her, her jersey's just tucked in. And I couldn't tell if it's number 11 or number 4. But yeah, Emma Guler gets... Direction. Emma Guler will get the goal. And a shot taken there for the Jaguars, and they could not quite get that in. And here's Guler now looking for more. Now cuts in and gets taken down to Pelly coming up to the Jaguars. Tripping the call. Or hooking. Either way, power play for the, the Roughnecks. They score just four seconds into the power play. And that, and see you guys the penalty. So the rough X back onto the power play. Huge penalty kill here for the Jaguars. Puck is thrown towards the net. Nobody home on the play. Puck is thrown towards that. Oh, that just missed. As that was Jesse Shuckin just missing the net there. So yeah, for the, for the cycle, I couldn't tell because uh, her she had her jersey tucked in. So Ella Dole got two minutes for her hooking. So it looked like number 11, but she had the old jersey tuck. So yeah, Emma Guler did get the second goal. So correction on that. Jaguars, meanwhile, the puck on net. Good save. And here come the Roughnecks. Puck is thrown towards net there by Aspen Murdoch, and that is shot wide. Huge penalty kill here for the Jaguars. And here's Leanne Rosie Chuck. And she'll just take him fire out of the zone. As Jaguars looking to get their game plan back in game. After falling 2 1. Here's Corey now. Here is Bateman now. Or should make that foos now. Try to get that up ahead. And Rosichuk docks down her man. Back to get there is Sydney Coleman who has one of the Duke goals tonight, as she got the tying goal. She has a goal and an assist in the game. So she's had quite a game so far for the Roughnecks. And here is Coleman now, and a nice defensive play there by Maniam. And here come the Jaguars. Rosichuk now. Has the puck knocked off here. Shot taken there and the puck is shot wide. Jaguars had their opportunities so far. Running into a hot goaltender. Jaguars now. Managed to keep the puck in. Nice stick there. Nice hard work. And Nuttall just could not quite get the puck past there. And a nice defensive play. Here's a chance for the Jaguars. They... Attack the net, and that'll be covered up there by Alexis Higdon. And I'll be covered up. 4.59 left to go in this second period of play. 2-1 Roughneck lead. That's the goal by Emma Guler. Scored four seconds on the power play.
Jaguars now. Looks to carry the momentum. Roughnecks trying to get the puck out, held in there. Here is Hannah Thor now. Pass it in front, backhanded, wait, it's in! Finally, the Jaguars have tied this game. Jaguars now, and it looks like it's gonna be Sierra Nuttell getting the goal. As she has tied this game at two. Had a thorn. There's the big goal the Jaguars were looking for. And finally! And their fans have some to cheer about in the second period. Meanwhile, back to the So. So Sierra Nutto will get the goal. Hannah Thorne will get the assist at 436. So it is Sierra Nuttell from Hannah Thorne at 436 on that tying goal. And icing against the Roughnecks. And the face-off is coming back 200 feet, back down the ice. So the face-off won there by the Roughnecks as Goofers now fired around the boards. Both teams battling for the puck here. Both teams trying to move the puck, it's stuck up against the boards. And it comes free now. And a puck shot taken there by Sydney Desirelais and easy save there by Alexis Higdon and she'll cover it up. So meanwhile, the face-off is coming back inside. The new territory and the Roughnecks now will get the puck back out. Puck missed the stick there of McKenna Henderson. Back to get there is Isabella Corey. Nice pass up ahead there. And a puck backhand on net there by Happy Berard and That'll be covered up there by Alexis Higdon. So one there by the Jaguars. Buck is thrown across the ice and it'll be held in there. Nice hold in there by Isabella Corey. And the puck over behind that. Here is Abby Machuas now with the puck. Had the puck off, knocked off her stick there by Jordan. Jaguars trying to funnel the puck towards the net. And the Roughnecks come out with it. Puck shot back in there by Emma Guler. Corey now will rifle around the boards. Rosie Chuck now will flip up ahead. Puck will be held in there by Tatum Jordan, cross ice there, puck deflected and that just missed wide. As Jesse Sh Shuck in there for the Rough Jackson, here's Rosie Chuck now, gets around the D, Rosie Chuck, oh my goodness, what a save there by Alexis Higdon. What a move there by Rosie Chuck. She's had a few opportunities in this game, she deserves a goal. Back the other way come the Rough Necks. Led there by Jordan Chats. She got knocked off the puck there. And the Jaguars look to come back the other way. Puck knocked off Thorn Stick. Coleman now will put it back in. Oh, 
And the puck will be fired back into the into Rough Jacks territory. Puck fired out to the zone there by Jules Foos. Here is Thorne now. Thorne. Had a Thorne now. Tries to center it and that was broken up there. Natal now who has a second goal. And the puck broken up there by the Roughnecks. Puck will be held in there. Nice held in there by the Jaguars. Puck is thrown towards the net, so that's cleared away there by the Roughnecks. Puck will be shot out there by Emily LaBerge, and she is going to ice the puck. Really good at scoring up to there by Barry Lane Rosie Chuck. She had the move, but even better there by Alex Higdon. If this player of the game, she would get my vote for the Roughnecks. Puck is thrown towards the net there. And that is shot over top of the net. 25 seconds left on the period. Jag looking for one more chance, and that comes back on the offside. And the face-off won there by the Jaguars. And the Roughnecks now trying to melt the period out. Final 10 seconds. And the Jaguars trying to get one last shot now. Here's a shot taking it shot wide. One last sh shot here for the Jaguars. And the puck is thrown towards the net. And broken up there. And that'll do it. So the score after two periods of play. Roughnecks 2. Jaguars 2. Goal scorers in the second period. As the Roughnecks got the lead by Emma Guler on the power play. And then later in the period, Sierra Natal tied the game up with 4.36 left in the second period. And that's where we're at right now. Two after two periods of play. So, folks, that'll do it for the second period of play here. I'm Carr Simpson. And we will be back for the third period. Do not go away, folks.
All right, folks, right? Welcome back to the third period between the Jaguars and the Roughnecks. Currently, it's tied 2-2 two -two at two periods of play. As I'm Carr Simpson here, thank you very much for tuning in to Coldic Ice TV. I'll be your broadcaster for the third period of play. Also, there's also two games going on live at once. If you want to stream the other game between, between Airview and Beaver Lodge, that will be on Dolony TV. As look for that in YouTube. Or if you want to stay with me, stay on Cold Lake Ice TV. As it is a pleasure bringing you guys here at the Provincials for this weekend. In the other arena. Meanwhile, it's 2 2 here in this game. And the Jaguars now trying to go back to work here. And puck will be carried out there by the Roughnecks. Led there by Goofers now, and she will carry the puck in. Picking it off there is Bateman now. Bateman gets around her man. And Jags off to clear the zone. On the delayed offside. So Beaver Lodge up 3-1 in the other game against Fairview. That's your score update after two periods of play. 2-2 two -two in this game. And here is Berard now shoots since she shot that wide. In the other game, Tyson Dolan has the call on that one. I have the call in this game. Puck is thrown towards that, and that will be coming up there as Sydney Desjardins threw that towards that, and a glove stop there. Face off one there by the Jaguars, and the puck shot in there by Larson as she is able to get the puck in deep. Rough neck still able to get the puck out. Here's Rosachuk now. Cuts in. Rosachuk backhand and she could not quite get the shot off. Puck is thrown towards the net. And Rosachuk had, her, had the shot blocked there by McKenna Hendon. Lars now. Uh oh, the lines were like a tumble. And the puck will be fired there by the by the Jaguars. Six games for each day, and folks, don't forget we have a full slate of games tomorrow, starting at nine o'clock. We will be with you all day long. It's a pleasure for me and Tyson Dolan to be doing the broadcasting in this provincials. Meanwhile, the Jaguars now trying to get the lead here. Puck is shot out there by the Roughnecks. Corey now. Twists and turns. We'll dump it back, but that's intercepted. And here's Goofers now. She'll go up ahead there for load in now, and she'll just dump it in, but the Jaguars turn it over. And here comes the Jack the other way. Puck back and towards that there by Divya Dieva Lowen and she could not quite get a backhand shot off. <laughs> Both teams battle for possession there as Reed now had the puck knocked off her stick. Puck will be back, kind of back out to center there. By Foos now, but the puck was held back in. And a backhand attempt there by Juliana Bateman. Or, wait, correction, make that Jules Foos. Oh, yeah, Juliana Bateman, yeah. I was right the first time. And she was up there by Alexa Higdon. So, folks, don't forget, we will also be going live tonight for the opening ceremonies. That will be at 8 o'clock. For all you YouTube viewers here, as 
It is a pleasure to bring the tournament to you all weekend long. Puck will be rifled around the boards. And the puck will be held in there by Dole. El Dole now keeps the puck in. Puck comes back to center now. Dole will go after it. Dole. Up ahead there for Berard. Berard now will carry the puck in. Berard. And she stick knocked off to her. Puck is thrown back towards the net there by Hall, and that will be stopped there by Alexis Higdon. I'd like to welcome viewers from Canada, USA, and different parts of the world, as it's a pleasure to have you on our broadcast tonight. Welcome you to our live stream, and thank you for tuning in. Here's Hall now, fires a shot. And a good save there by Higdon. And that will be held out. Fifteen thirty seven left to go in this third period. And a penalty coming up here to the Jaguars. It's gonna be tripping. Referee has the arm up. And I think it's going to be Hannah Hall going off for tripping. So the Roughnecks are going on their fourth power play of the game. They are one for four so far. Puck will be fired out of the zone there. By the Jaguars as Dejolais now able to get the puck out. Roughnecks will throw it up ahead. They're going to ice the puck. So, Natel in the faceoff circle against Coleman. Natel now wins the faceoff now. Natel takes a shot, and that was blocked before it could make it through. Good scoring opportunity there for the Jaguars. They had some dangerous short-handed opportunities tonight. And here is Corey now. Corey will fire it off the boards. And the face off. Puck will be dumped back in and the puck fired back out to center there by the Jaguars. As here is Lebrecht now with the puck. She'll carry in zone. Gets it off the, there by Emma Niam. 50 seconds left to go in the penalty kill for the Jaguars. Here is Veloski now. Fox forward towards that. Here's a shot taken there by Veloski and that's stayed out. Loose puck in the crease! And that's cleared away there by the Jaguars. Here is Foos now trying to get shot and that did not make it through. Twenty seconds left to go in the power play for the Roughnecks. And here is Foos now with the puck. And she had the puck off, knocked off her stick. And here's Bateman now, able to outrace Foos to the puck. But the Roughnecks get it back. Puck intercepted. And Hannah, and Hannah Hall now out of the box. And we are back to full strength. Puck held in there by Faith Donovan. Puck did not make it out. And here, here come Bateman now, shoots and the puck is bobbled there by Higdon and now be held with 12.47 left in this 
Third period of play. Face off. One there by the Jaguars. But the Roughnecks able to get the puck back out to center. And here is Hannah Hall now. And picking up behind the net there is Machuas. Here's Rosichuk. Here's Desjardins now. Fires a shot to that blocker away there. And the puck will be held there by Alexis Higdon and that will be held for the whistle. Face off one there by the Jaguars. Larson now tries to hold the puck in and it comes back out. And here is Guler now. Drops it back. There for Sidney Coleman. And the puck was knocked down with a high stick. So the face off is coming back inside Jaguars territory. One there by the Roughnecks. Puck will be held in there. Shot taken, thrown towards the net there by Goofers and that stayed out of the net. And Jaguars cannot clear the zone. That was held in there by Jordan. That comes back out. Here's Rosie Chuck now. And she could not quite get a stick. Could not quite get around. What a defensive play there by Emma Guler. Otherwise, she would have been off all alone. Delayed offside. And here come the Jaguars. What a move! Shot taken there! That's fucking shot wide there by Rosie Chuck. And she just whistled that one wide. Fucking throw it towards that, and that'll be covered up. Ten fifty-five left. Fans on the edge of their seat right now. We are in for a finish. Both teams battle for along the boards. Not a play there. A shot taken there by Hannah Thorne, and that will be covered up there by Alexis Higdon. What a move there by Hannah Thorne, but she could not quite beat in as she held her team in this game. The puck is fired around the boards. Here's a chance here for the Jaguars. What a move! What a goal! Sierra Mattel! And she has given the Jaguars a 3 to 2 lead. Oh, yes! We got the siren going as well. The puck is fired around the boards. What a move there by Sierra Natal. And she fires the end of the game. And Whoa! Oh. pays off. It's 3 for the Jaguars. That'll be her second goal of the game. Two points tonight for her. Sierra Nuttle will get her. Hannah Thorne will get the assist. 10-31. That is the second time Nuttle and Thorne connect on both goals. Two straight goals.
Jaguars now threw that towards Slot. Dangerous pass, but that somehow they got away with that. Roughnecks now break up the puck. Here's the port now trying to get an entry in the zone. Gets bumped off the puck. Coming there to help out there is McKenna Henderson and offside the blue line. So the face off is coming outside outside of uh, Jaguars territory. And here's Laporte now. Gains his own, had the puck knocked for stick there by Hannah Hall. And icing against the Jaguars. So the face off, back inside Jaguars territory. Scramble four off, face off, shot taken there by Sidney Coleman, and that is shot wide of the net. Goofers now, holds the puck in, puck is thrown towards the net, blocked before he can make it through. And Goofers now will chip the puck back in. And pass, and the puck is intercepted there by Rosa Chuck. She'll throw the puck towards that, intercepted there by McKenna Henderson. Puck knocked off her stick there by Corey. Corey now will carry it in the zone. Puck knocked off her stick. Nuttall now. Who has two goals tonight? Back to Corey, shoots, and that was blocked before he could make it through. Oh, that might have caught Rosie Chuck right in the hand. Oh, no. A shot taken, that was shot wide. And the puck is thrown towards the net. And a penalty coming up as the Jaguars have drawn a penalty, and it will be against the Roughnecks. Hooking the call. And McKenna Henderson going off. The Jaguars are going right to the power play. And let's put this game away. Jaguars control the face off. Looks to get something going here. Puck is thrown towards that, and another penalty coming up to the Roughnecks. Cross checking the call. And it will be Tatum Jordan going off for cross checking. Five on three for a minute and 45 seconds. Jaguars looking to put the icing on top of the cake. Here is Ella Dole now. Dole gets it back. Takes a shot and that stopped there. Jaguars looking to stay on it. What a move there. Puck is backhand towards the net. Loose puck! And how did that not go in? Not a lucky for the hat trick, and that shot was blocked. Here is Hall now. Hall skates around the neck. Puck is thrown towards the net. Blocked before he can make it through. Hall. Desir Lins up there for El Adol. Takes a shot, and that was blocked before he can make it through. And a penalty coming up. And it's going against the Jaguars. 
hooking the call. And it's going to be a four on three for 40 foreskins. So we are playing four on three here for the next 44 seconds. Here's Goofers out, shoots in that puck is shot wide. So Rose check off for hooking. So Jaguars have a four on three recovery. What a move there by Hannah, Hannah Hall, takes a shot, and that's stopped there by Alexis Higdon. 6.02 left in this third period. And the puck will be held in there by the Jaguars. Puck is thrown on the boards, Deserlins. We'll keep it in. Puck comes out. And out here is McCann Henderson now. She's set out of the box. And here is Hannah Hall now. Nice move. What a move by Hall. She's coming in. And she gets stripped off the puck there by McKenna Henderson. And here's Goofers now at the puck. She'll carry it in, but she gets bumped off the puck there by Corey. And the puck will be back in and back in. So 35 seconds, power play to work with for the Roughnecks. Five minutes left to go in this third period. Picking up there is Foos now. Foos had the puck knocked off first step, but it deflects right to Jesse Shuckin. Puck is banked off the boards and back out center. And the penalties are over. We are back to five on five. Here's Goofers now. Or correction, make that Michaela Wood. Uh, she had the puck off, knocked off her second here. Rosie Chuck now. Rosie Chuck, right, splits the defense, shoots, and she just missed it wide. She has the puck back. Puck is shot to, on net there by Claire Kachuk, and she got stopped. Another shot taken there by Dole, and that stayed out. Krawchuk now will keep the puck in. Down low for... Rosie Chuck. 3.38 left to go in this third period. Jaguars looking poised to hang on here. Here's Rosie Chuck now. Rosie Chuck shoots and a save there by Alexis Higdon. That is a key stop to keep her team in it. And I think we're going to have a timeout here. So folks, don't forget, at 8 o'clock p.m. we'll have the opening ceremonies live at Imperial Old Place Arena on Cold Lake Heights TV. So don't miss out on the opening ceremonies tonight at 8 o'clock. Also, if you want to check in on the Fairview and Beaver Lodge game, go to Tyson Dolan TV. That'll be the game in rank two. If you want to stay at the game with us on Cold Lake TV, stick to this game here as it looks like Leduc has called a timeout here. As this is a one goal game with 3.21 left in this 
Third period of play. Both chains battle for it off the face off. And it's won there by the Roughnecks. Puck is dumped back in the zone there by Tatum Jordan. And that'll be covered up there by Q Quinney. Face off one there by the Roughnecks. Emma Guler now throws it towards the net. That's broken up. Puck is backhanded in deep. And the puck comes back out center. Larson now tries to backhand it in. Here's Guler now. Here's it across center. Guler. Well, backhand the puck off the linesman skate. And the puck will be shot in deep there by the Roughnecks. As they'll go after it. And that misses everything and comes back out center. That was touched. Do the Roughnecks have one last push in them? Puck will be backhanded in deep. And here's a chance here for Rosechuck, and that was knocked away. Here's Rosechuck, we'll wrap it around the boards. And there's a shot, take it there, and that was stopped there by Alexis Higdon. Looks like that was uh, Hannah Hall that had a close in opportunity. And. And that was knocked off its moorings. So face off. One there by the Jaguars as they hold the puck in. What a key stop there by Alexis Higdon in tight on Hannah on Hannah Hall as she that could be a crucial stop as she has kept her team in this hockey game. And the Roughnecks now trying to get the puck out. Folks, we are in the last minute of play down the stretch at Imperial Oil Place Arena. Here we go. Here come the Roughnecks, look to tie this game up. Jaguars trying to ice this game away. Puck is back in deep. We have 45 seconds to play. And the puck is cleared, not out. A shot taken that walk, Rosie Chuck now will fire it off the glass and down the ice and icing as the Roughnecks have pulled their goalie with 31 seconds left. Fans on the edge of their seats right now. One gold hockey game. So the Roughnecks now trying to get control of the puck. 25 seconds to go. Puck is thrown towards the net. And the puck is broken up. And the Jaguars will get it out. Here's Bateman now. And they could not quite get the open net. Here's Dole now. And the puck is carried in offside. Three seconds to go. Listen to the Jaguar fans. They're making some noise for their team. Three seconds from victory.
The Jaguars have built the time off the clock. Two, one, now do it. The Jaguars go to two and zero oh on the day as they win three two. Thanks to two goals. Number 19, Sierra Nuttall, who had two goals in tonight's game. As they win both today, and they'll play their full round robin game tomorrow. As both teams will shake hands. That was a really good game. As the Jaguars had multiple opportunities, but they managed to get it done. Alexis Higdon playing well in net for the Roughnecks. So 56 shots to 17 in favor of the Jaguars. So folks, we will stick around for the player of the game presentations. My votes right now for the Roughnecks would be either goaltender Alexis Higdon or Sydney Coleman, who had two points. For, my, for the Jaguars, my votes would definitely go to Sierra Nuttall, who had two goals in tonight's game. So we got the MVP awards. Here we go. Emma Guler with one goal and an assist tonight. She had a heck of a hockey game. As she gets player of the game for the Leduc Roughnecks. Sierra Nuttall getting player of the game for the Lake Juan Jaguars. Two goals, including the game winner. So folks, that's going to do it tonight for the between the Luke Roughneck and the Lakeline Jaguars. And folks, don't forget, opening ceremonies, 8 p.m. sharp at Imperial Oil Place. We'll be live streaming that later tonight. So folks, I'm Carter Simpson. Thank you very much for tuning in to this game. And folks, we will see you tomorrow morning.